Welcome to Overstressed, a brand new 1.16.5 SMP that involves a load of different content creators. But what is Overstressed? Well, Overstressed is a survival series that's going to be focused on the create mod with some other mods added to it to give us some other things to do. What makes this SMP different is that we've restricted it to a 5,000 block border so that we promote collaboration, as well as we have other plans for like a town where we're all going to live together, as well as a massive factory area for all of our create machines. We've also added in some mods like the voice chat mod to really make this series as interactive as we possibly can. As far as my channel, I'm going to be releasing one video a week and possibly even streaming on the server once a week, so if you're interested in that, feel free to subscribe. But without holding back any further, let's see how long it takes until I kill Luyo. I mean, uh, let's jump into the video. So to get started in this SMP, I think we should go through the list of people that are inside of this SMP, because we got a really good group of people. So we have... Capers! Vlogus. Dusty's KB. Dad's Guide or DG. Llama. Qstream. <laughs> Super Turtle. Oh. Uh, Leo Boy. So there you go. There's the crew. And uh, yeah, Luyo uh, may or may not have just began the SMP instead of doing the S introductions. So uh, I think he's cheating and we should ban him. But um, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But uh, other than that, I figure we should jump into what happened in the very first couple of moments uh, when we all joined in and all started punching wood. This direction. Because this is where we want to be at. <laughs> don't worry about it. No, this is the spawn. We don't want to do anything. At fight, the spawn. fight, just fight. We're just going to make a little settlement. We just need a little settlement. Do you want to fight? Uh, no, I, no, I didn't say anything. <laughs> Just Come over here. Come over here. I didn't say a thing. Fight, I didn't say- Ow! Fight. Ow! <laughs> Luyo, we may have shared a series before, but I'm gonna murder you. Monster is coming back. This is that kind of I need of my now. stuff. Yeah, you know what? Let me think about this again. I think Luyo should be banned. Kafers, go ahead and get on that. Go ahead and ban Luyo. Uh, but besides the brutal murder in Spawn, I ended up just doing basic things like mining, gathering supplies. Uh, I did actually create a really nice portable storage system that allows me to hold a ton of different items all at once using a card assembler. So that is basically where we left off. I wasn't really on that much for the launch. And now there's been about a day and a half in between launch and now. So let's jump back into the action. All right. So we have arrived back into the world and uh, basically our next thing to do is to find where we're building our village that we can all meet up together. I've had cords sent to Discord, but again, I've been off for like two days. So uh, gonna be a little interesting to, to figure out what that, where that is. Uh, but over there, I found a little post thing. Um, that's some kind of mod, maybe Quark? I don't really know. Uh, that will tell me that there's villages in certain directions. So I've marked that as a waypoint, something we can use in the future if we need uh, villagers, because I don't think anyone has found a village yet. So that might help out. But uh, yes, let's go ahead and find that area. I think I have found it. So I found a house at least. Let's let's see. Oh, I like what is this? Oh, they're macaws bridges, but they're using them as supports. Say what? We might also be robbing some of these crops. I didn't say that. I didn't. I didn't say that. I didn't say robbing. Taking without asking. That's where we're going to go with. Um, what is the oak? Par parapet? Par parapet? Par parapet? I don't know what's going on. I've, I'm sleep deprived, if you can't tell. Um, whose house is this? Is this like a meeting circle? <gasps> Who built this? I feel like this is Kafer's because she's a way better builder than I am. What is this? Is this like... This 100% is like, it's like a kind of like a hotel area of just kind of like hang out here. I had to guess because look at all the beds and we had like the meeting seats up top. I love this and I love the the little uh, hanging sign from supplement, supplement, yes, you see, you understand. Oh, this is going to be a disaster. Oh, no, it's Dewey's safe home. <gasps> it's Dewey's. Oh my, I'm losing it. It's actually Dewey's safe house. I didn't know that. And he said he couldn't build. Look at this. This actually looks pretty dang good. Way better than what I could do. And with the slab roof. Yes, Lemmy. I know that you're going to insult me for not having a slab roof again. I'm sorry. Uh, we're we going to have a separate building game. But that's house number one. And I'm looking at the mini map. There's, I think, house number two. Maybe under construction over here. Oh, yes. House number two. Or maybe this is a farming area. Maybe not. Can't tell what I'm seeing. Uh, oh, no. I thought this was dirt. So this is actually house number two. Please leave, leave it be. 
Uh, this is the future base of DG. Wait, is that really rhyme? Please leave it be. This is the future base of DG. Oh my. Um, it looks like he was getting all set up. I think this is gonna be like a water wheel setup and everything. Oh no, he already has water wheels. And he actually like brewed or brew it in. He actually put it all in as if uh, as if it's actually water wheels against his house, which I don't know if there's anyone else's houses in this area. So I'm just fell into there. I can see something's on the map over here. Uh, I think that's actually just natural generation. Oh, looks like maybe someone house someone's house is down here. Uh, and our main goal is to live as far away from Luyo. I think that's the best way to go. Uh, and the safest way to do. Do? Go? I don't know. What's going on? Uh, who's, who's living over here? Okay, interesting. Uh, I think there's a sign anywhere. Very interesting. I think someone maybe put down like a color, like a pallet. Oh wait, no, this is like a cobblestone generator that would have been automated and looks like they broke it off. Interesting. I've also never seen someone do a water wheel design like that. That is interesting. Whose is this? Who is this intelligent person? Uh, interesting. I'm trying to see. They have a, I think a max enchantment area already. So if I had to guess, this is maybe llama. Yeah, I'd say probably llama. I can see there's things built over here. Ooh, this I feel like is Luyo. Maybe this is the same person. I don't know. It looks like someone was trying to start building, but uh, no sign. So someone lives here. I guess we'll find out maybe in the next couple episodes on who lives around here. But we have to find where we want to put our base. Now, I've had some ideas. So in the comments, let me know, by the way, um, of what you think. Oop, almost just hopped onto the crops of what type of base you want me to make. And remember, I'm not really a builder, but I will do my best. Uh, but at one point, I decided that I was going to start out with a little tiny house up top. Um, and then I was going to have like a trap door or some kind of create machine that was like an elevator that would drop us into um, this like sewer section of the town. And we we're going to live in the sewers like TMNT. Uh, if you don't know what TMNT is, I might cry. But Team Mutant Ninja Turtles, obviously. Um, that was an idea that we had. So we'll see or an idea that I had. Uh, but let me know in the comments if there's anything else you think might be a little a little cool. But speaking of comments... Uh, there is a mod in here that I can bring in images, like screenshots and stuff, and place them in the game. So every single one of my episodes, whoever can write the nicest comment, because there's not many nice comments usually in the comment section of any video, whoever can write the nicest comment is going to be featured on like a, a loving board or something like that. Loving might not be the right word, like a, a nice comment board inside of the game. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're going to have to tune in to the next episode uh, when I actually put a comment up there. Uh, and also my masters and grandmasters, you'll get a board soon. I just need to like stay alive for a second in this SMP and don't worry, it's coming. It's on its way. So I was actually thinking about staking my house maybe in this area. I might push it back a little bit, maybe on top of this little ridge area as I run out of food. Uh, somewhere kind of in this area was kind of my idea um where i kind of have a little bit of an overlook of the ocean my chunks aren't fully loaded yet but um i could see whoever's house is over there and the one that's back there and i could see the couple houses that are being built over in this direction as well again my chunks are lowered down for now but uh that's what i'm thinking so maybe in this area i'll start constructing a house and then we can build some paths and stuff that go out into the beach and then maybe like a dock area anything along those lines but uh we'll have to see what we could do Hey everyone, I was looking at my footage during editing and I decided it would probably just be easier to just catch you all up in about three seconds. So essentially during these next couple hours of footage, I just kind of decided my palette for the build. I did a lot of building and then unbuilding and building again uh, just because I couldn't figure out what I really wanted. Uh, but I built a very general layout at the very end of just kind of this is the size of the building that I wanted. And then I ended up uh, heading off after making a water wheel with a press and also making kind of like a really rinkety kind of bulk blasting area uh but i ended up heading off i was running on little to no sleep and i honestly i don't think this footage is too usable because i was running on little to no sleep so uh this brings us into our next day where i make a ton of progress on the house all right so last night was a little bit weird i i hopped on and uh I, I started working on the house. Of course, I did all of the things you saw in probably the last, like, I don't know, two minutes of clips. Uh, and then life came up and I had to leave. So uh, I'm back on the next morning in a completely different shirt. I don't think I wore this for the launch. We're going to hope not or it's going to look really weird in the editing. But uh, I'm on a new different new different day. I'm on a new 
day in real life. So we're, we're back into the SMP and um, I'm currently working on a checkered floor. Blue Mage, if you see this, of course, I'm using a very similar palette to your build. Uh, and thank you for that, because this looks awesome. Um, I love the floor, love the texturing. So I, I'm going to go with like a checkered style floor. And then this is actually going to be three separate rooms, as you can see by these columns that might not really stay. Uh, where the secondary uh, rooms, so this side and this side, are just going to be one floor, and then the center is theoretically going to be two floors. Uh, think maybe like a schoolhouse look, um, if you know what I'm talking about. If not, you're totally fine. Uh, and then I was thinking maybe an underground area to start before we start our construction on that massive sewer system. Uh, but the idea is that the underground area will just be the beginnings of a crafting area for me to get all that up and running. And maybe in like the next episode or later this episode, we could start making like a windmill, uh, something that would actually power our entire system. Uh, but right now we're just super low on resources and we really honestly just need to get uh, at least a first floor up and running so that we're good to go. I also just found this really cool block. It is a sawmill from Environmental. And basically if you put your axe in here, uh, or excuse me, if you put your planks or any type of item in there, you can then convert it into whatever you're liking. Uh, a little bit easier than crafting and also you get bonus blocks. But the best part about this is it's just like the saw, uh, which I, I there's another mod that adds something similar. It's like the wood cutter, essentially. Uh, same thing, but it's a sawmill. And I've noticed that it doesn't need like an axe placement. You can just put blocks in here. So that's actually pretty neat as well. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and have to use this to basically build the rest of the house. There we go. Floor has been finished. Look at that. It looks so nice. And then uh, I've also moved our minecart contraption out here. I started to make more of like a crafting area temporarily up here. Uh, and I, f I have a feeling that we walk through this door that right here will be like a ladder to go down and go up. But for now, we got a nice little base going on. I don't really know if I like these windows, but we'll we'll see what we want to do. going oh my god you just scared the heck out of me uh <laughs> it is it is going well as you can see i have rebuilt it i think three times now this is this is good this is this is good now yeah did i just get a good from luyo i think i think luyo likes my build no. i think i i'm gonna take that as luyo likes my build i can I can finally die. <laughs> but like you know i i finally made it to that that point look at that I got approval from the one, the only, Luyo. That just made my day. <laughs> so as you can see, there's our house half built currently. Um, I basically just need more stone brick and I can kind of finish this area off. Doesn't look like much. I will warn you that far. Uh, but this was a ton of work, especially this early on in survival to, to get all this up and running. But I figured I'd do like a partial house tour, uh, and then we can finish off the rest of it and we'll see what else we want to do for this episode. Uh, but if we go ahead and walk in here, you're going to see we have our nice tiled floor that I've showcased before, as well as we have our stone cutters, our sawmills. We have this temporary mechanical saw thing so that we can get some, uh, planks and stuff like that up and running. We have a press set up, a bed, which make sure my home is set. Um, just little crafting areas. We don't have windows in yet. I just haven't had a chance to work on windows. And I also don't know what windows we're going to use because we have all of Macaw's windows. We also have the create windows and we have a bunch of other odds and ends. But one thing I wanted to point out is these beams that we have up and running, which is it's beams and slabs. Again, Creeper, thank you for showing me this when you're inside of your house. I thought it looks awesome. Looks a little wacky here for what I've done, but... It gets its point across, so I'll I'll take it. Uh, but for now, this is what we've done for this design. And then if we come up top, this is just like a little outlook area. I might have like maybe our bed up here or something because you can't really see because I realize I've built this one block short. Uh, but this will just be some windows and such. And uh, this ladder will be gone as well. That was just so I can get to the roof. But really basic kind of first and second floor. And then our basement, oop, glitching out. Our basement 
is literally just a hole in the ground. I needed cobblestone, so I made a hole, just huge hole in the ground here. Eventually, this is going to be our crafting area where we have our press, our mixer, all of our encased fans, all of those odds and ends all set up for us so that when we dive more into create and get really crazy with things, we have a whole crafting area that's going to be automated. And the idea is that we have this crafting area set up and we're going to have a windmill that's going to be powering the crafting area. So we can have a windmill kind of besides our building somewhere and it should basically work pretty well uh but i have a feeling that that will be our project for next episode because i i have a feeling that this episode is gonna be a little short that's okay i've made it a little bit shorter uh just because i want it to be very easy for you guys to watch this is many hours of footage put together and many days of footage honestly put together so uh yeah it'll be a short episode but i think that that will give us some more objectives for the next episodes to tackle so let's go ahead and finish off this house And there we go. Look at that. Our first house done. So I built a, a very rickety type of path up to the top. It's literally just a basic one, which, you know, what, we'll pick this item off the ground. Uh, just so there's a little bit of a path. We can flush this out in a later episode, but just a little bit so that people see that we actually are building in this area. Um, so we just have this little rickety path that comes up to the house uh, where we've officially finished it off besides the windows, because I don't know what windows I want to go with. So maybe let me know in the comments what window I should go with. Uh, but there you go. I just turned off their sound for a half a second to make this easier for me. But uh, we have our uh, outside area pretty set up. I might flush this out, change it so it's instead of just bricks or just like stone bricks to more of like a pattern or not necessarily a pattern, more of randomness, but blocks that are similar. Uh, but for now, at least we have a house. Uh, and if we enter on in, nothing much has changed since that last clip, uh, at least in, as far as this room, uh, because we basically finished this one off. But if we go upstairs, you can see that we have this area basically set up, which, you know what, let's move our bed, uh, because we said we're going to move our bed up there anyways. Uh, which, <laughs> man, we're running out of inventory space. Uh, but if we go up here, we can go ahead and place down our bed. This is going to be like a little bit of a sleeping area. Again, we're going to flush this out a lot more in a later episode. Uh, this is going to be more of the basic crafting area, more of maybe even like a storage system of just like a bunch of chests in the beginning, things like that. Uh, and then once we go downstairs, this is what we're definitely working on in the next episode. This is going to be all of our create stuff. This is all of the machines up and running. Uh, all of it is going to be automated so that we don't have to worry about much of anything. Like we don't have to use a hand crank for anything. We're just good to go. Uh, and that's the idea. Um, I've also dug down here just so I could grab some cobblestone and stuff. So that will be filled in later. Doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, that's the that's the house all up and running. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like. Feel free to subscribe. I hope you enjoy that I have a face cam up and running for these streams or videos, I guess. Uh, let me know. The only other time I ever did uh, a face cam was for the live stream for 100 days. So I'm interested to see what it will look like for videos. Uh, and let me know. Also, let me know any type of like editing things that you didn't like, you liked anything along those lines. I know this video is probably gonna be super fast compared to my other videos, uh, but I've done that as just like a pilot episode that this is the beginning. Get ready to uh, to be in an SMP again. Uh, and all of the grandmasters and masters, your billboard will be up in the next episode. Don't don't uh, don't worry about that. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys all in the next one.